All right, welcome to a draw my life. I spent a lot of time on this draw. It took me like 11 tries. Okay, so uh, just a disclaimer, I really cannot draw at all, okay? Let's get started. I'm 18 years old, so I'm an adult now. I don't think I have the most interesting life to look back at, but I just want to look back to my life where I wasn't an adult. Yeah, yeah, Dad. My name is Stan, better known as Brownie. And I was born the 10th of October, 1999. Why Brownie, by the way? We will get to that later. But I was born. That's where it went wrong. I was born at home, not in a hospital. Within a week of my birth, I was in a hospital. I had a disease that was pretty common by babies. I had it pretty bad. And after a few weeks, I also had an infection. <laughs> that was pretty bad. So I got over all of that, and it turned out that I had developed asthma in the first six months of my life. So I spent a lot of time in hospital. During all of this, I was in a lot of pain. Apparently, I mean, I don't know a lot of this, but yo. At six months old, they gave me painkillers that was too much for a grown man. So I was uh, sick, and basically sick all the time. But luckily, I was the sweetest kid. Until I became older than a year and a half, and my mom basically wanted to kill me. I was just crying all the time, just the only thing I did was crying. And one thing that was kind of weird, I hated milk. There was absolutely no way I was gonna drink that, except for goat milk. I love that. So until I was three and a half years old, the only thing I drank, or actually the only thing I took in, was goat milk. And still at 18 years old, I hate milk. Don't know about goat milk though. I was really annoying. Drama, drama, drama. So the dream of my parents of having three kids because of me, no, no, no. Not again. But luckily, they got another one. I have a mom, dad, sister, little brother, and me. This drama was on skill and based on the truth and only the truth. Around this time, I went to preschool. The name of the preschool had Trump in it, so... Must be good. That was hella fun. Basically did nothing there. I spent a long time here. By the way, at four years old, I went to school for the first time. But guess what the hospital said? Hey, we're back. You still got asthma. Actually, never hated going there. Everyone was pretty nice and pretty cool. But yeah, still, asthma isn't that much fun. But I was doing alright. You know, sick, same routine, painkiller, blow. But hey, I was gonna be alright. I was in kindergarten for three years. Most of the people stay two years, but not me. Nah, fam, it was lit there. I know, it had to do with when I was born. But hey, people say that this is why I got so small. Because I was there, playing with blocks for three years. This is actually true. I started playing football at five years old. I actually had some friends. Part of that because my parents knew their parents, but some I actually got managed to get myself. And I was socially a zero. My parents always said your IQ is a lot higher than your EQ. What went wrong? But I guess this was true because I never actually bond with people a lot or had these really cool BFF for life stuff. Things, yeah. You're my bro for life, bro. I really had that. So finally, class three or first grade in America. I don't, I don't know. I was seven and in school. Okay, so school started and you enter life. It was okay, but I was bullied a lot. Just because I was the fat guy or the guy you could pick on easily and get offended easily or get mad easily and explodes. Yeah, that, that was me. The bullying and me exploding, it, it was there a lot. And sometimes I, I just broke. I just lost it. I got really angry. Trying to handling it on a physical level. Trying to beat the shit out of people. And just breaking stuff, you know, stuff like that. One day I was bullied and no one was listening. No support, no teacher helped me. And I just ran to my classroom, shuffled all the tables, pushed him over, and you know, it was a mess. <laughs> this equals teachers talking to parents, parents talking to parents with teachers observing, people have no clue what to do, but bling, let's put the main guys that are fighting in different classes. Everyone happy, yay. So my main bully got placed in different class, but you know, I don't know. You still see each other when playing outside, but you know, doesn't matter. But hey. They thought, we still got that weird guy that gets mad all the time. That's me. But bling, that equals anger, anger management. Yeah. I was put in a sort of class with a couple of other guys that they thought were special. We were just basically the weird guys that they couldn't handle. Actually, a couple of these were my friends. I did have this one best friend. My main guy, you know? This is how we met. There was this long alley between houses. And it was like a dream. I was on this end because my house was next to that. And he on the other end because his house was next to that end. And the magical moment happened. You want to play? Okay. So we played. And I remember that this guy was in another school. They just moved. His father was from Turkey and his mom was Dutch. So I was like, yo, hey man, you know, j your, your school is stupid. Join mine. So he joined mine. And then life happened. When he entered our school, out of nowhere, he was the popular guy. Me, obviously still being a kid that was bullied a lot. So basically... Life hits you in the face because we're little and we choose what's best for us. So he chose what was best for him. If some popular guys were fighting me, he could help them, insulting me. Or he chose my side and helped me. <laughs> hey, no, that's life. That's how I see it right now. Oh, and by the way, this anger management bullshit that no, 
didn't work at all. This was during school and we had no clue what we were doing there or why. I was also sent to a totally different place with what I think was a psychologist or a behavior expert. I, I don't know. Something with my behavior, something with my anger. And this did actually work, I think. I got mad less often and less quickly. To be completely honest, I don't know the exact order of all this, what just happened. This all happened in the first years of my life on school. All these memories and all these things that happened, for me, they just made me who I am. I mean, the bullying was bad. Even to a point where they threw my favorite bike into a ditch. <laughs> Honestly, I blocked all this. By the way, I just realized that I sound really pity and sad, but it was great. Life was great. My mom actually had to tell me this recently. Hey, do you remember when we got your bike out of this ditch? And I was like, oh, ah, uh, I remember. Noise, pretty noise. Time passed, people settled down. They became a lot nicer and I became a lot less anxious. I do have some unforgettable moments with friends. I was still friends with my best friend, but I also had some other best friends, which were equally socially awkward. That's nice. One of my best friends is dad. He owned a sort of heaven for children. Spent a lot of my childhood there. He could play football, midget golf, all the stuff that you wanted. And I did go through a lot with this guy, but he was And just... then this happened. This is where it all started. There was this guy. We had one dream. B. Like. I Carly. Yeah. So we did. We made things up, recorded it, and actually spent a lot of time doing this. I do think we actually recorded like two videos. These videos are still lost. But I had some awesome memories with friends. They know. I mean, most of my friends were pretty weird back then, so was I. Damn, did they become some weird motherfuckers right now. When I was 10, the asthma sort of faded, and that was awesome. I mean, not a lot of people have it that bad experience this. Still sometimes got an asthma attack though, so dead. Somewhere around this time, a friend of mine and also neighbor let me listen to rap to be specific, Eminem. So I still want to thank him for that. So thank you. Elementary school ended on good terms, said goodbye to people and high school, yes. Oh. Fun fact, I moved houses in the last year of elementary school so I had to cycle this instead of this. In between we had this house where we stayed while our new house was getting built. I lived here in the attic which just constantly had eyes on the ceiling and walls because it was an old house and yeah it was just cold. But we lived here for 10 months and then moved to this house. Here's the fun fact. Not so much later, lightning struck that room and it burned it fully down. I'm still playing football by the way. I met this guy who was in my team that year and we were like, whoa, are you going to that school next year? Yeah. And secondary school? Yeah. Whoa. Me too. This guy's Stan. My name is also Stan, but his is with an E and mine with an A. Also, I attended for Cambridge English classes, which I didn't pass. That's irony. Isn't it? So school started. New life. I met new people pretty fast. That was awesome. Also, I realized I actually had to do some stuff. My grades were shit. I had literally teachers asking me, Stan, why are you so bad? Actually, I think teachers and principals, I don't know. They thought I wasn't going to make it and I wasn't close to making it. They thought my mom sabotaged the system so I could get in that class. I don't know, I thought it was quite funny. Yay, someone else I'm mad was Yannick. This is why I love him. Here, here. If people ask him, how did you meet? This, this, this is what he always says. <laughs> I saw him sitting all alone by himself during a tournament. Loser. He, he's pretty important to me, you can see why. He actually did do something useful. He showed me the other side of YouTube for the first time. For me, YouTube was music. Weird Gangnam Style stuff, or just music that I loved, listening to Eminem and listening to other new music. He showed me what a friend had shown him. His name is PewDiePie. I started watching him and more people that I found doing the same thing or just something totally different that I love. And Stan and I had this ID. Epic Steam. Epic. We had this idea at the end of the first year, which I actually passed. Yeah. Mr. Why are you so big? Worked hard for it, but I did. The YouTube ID became reality. We said we can do this too. We started a gaming channel, which is kind of ironically too, because I didn't play any games at all in my life. But I spent two weeks of my vacation dedicated to editing and learning stuff about YouTube. Then we started it. We had big plans. 200,000 subscribers in no time. Flying out to cool places and making awesome videos. Stan had to quit at 186 subscribers because it wasn't working. So what now? Epic Stan Brownie. Why Brownie? All well, this is my last name. Tried to pronounce it. People. What? People. Brownie. Probably the food or something. Okay, sure. Then it took off. No, that's not true. It was still shit, but I enjoyed it. Made some gaming videos, but also other stuff that I really liked, like challenges, short movies, stuff like that. And I always loved the editing. This year I met a guy. This guy is called Aryan. He was on the same school as I was before this school, but I actually didn't know him at all because I just didn't. I hate him. No, that's not true. So we decided to become best friends. Oh, and he had a really good friend, which was also a good friend of Unique, so we decided to become best friends too. In my mind, it went like this. Okay, sorry, Art. I mean, I'm glad you're there. You're my man. YouTube now had grown to a couple of thousand subscribers. And I passed the second year. Oh, why are you so bad? And YouTube grew a little more. All my friends were helping me with making videos. This, this was an awesome time. Looking back, they spent a lot of time. A lot of time on me and making videos. So, thank you guys for that. 
I literally loved it, but it was pretty stressful because it was really hard to manage with school and I actually made no money off of YouTube, like 10 a month, doesn't matter which currency, just 10. I had a few jobs, but quit them as soon as school started. At this time, I was also gaining a lot of weight just because I ate everything, literally everything. You can, you know, cherry it up. Most of the time, if there was something bad but really tasty in house, it just... You know, it was mine. Now love happened. I ended a crush on this girl for as long as I can remember. And I also started liking a girl more and more. Who happened to be Arya's girlfriend? Ah, just kidding. That would be really interesting, but it was her best friend. So Arya and I got pretty close and we talked a lot to each other. We were like, yo, let's date these girls and we're gonna have both, both, we're gonna have girlfriends and yeah. But nah, fam. And it did work out for Aryan. They both liked each other a lot and I was really happy for him. But for me, no feelings at all. This killed me. I think I had a crush on her for a full year and a lot of hope. <laughs> that was all gone. A lot of things happened in life. Um, my mother once called me fed <laughs> and I got rejected and I just really wanted to change. Aryan was already working out and I just, I thought it was amazing. So I started looking a little bit more into it and living a little bit more healthy. Aryan really was there for me. He helped me a lot and obviously the other friends too. Here's a secret. I haven't told a lot of people this. I did not only want to change myself physically, but just in general. Socially pretty weak, physically pretty fat. And because my EQ, my ability to emphasize with other people's feelings was just, it wasn't there. So I, I just observed, looked how people responded to behavior what they liked, disliked, adored and thought was funny or made them mad. Everything. Literally everything. I mean, I was always interested in how people responded to stuff, but I took it to a whole new level. I'm always myself, especially around people I trust and I like, but I do filter out bad habits and sometimes replace them for better habits, so people just you know? Sometimes for first impressions, because those are really important, and actually a lot of times just because I want to. I want to better myself. I know a lot, I think, but I'm always learning. So that's a pretty random thing about moi in relation to how I changed myself. Year four started. The numbers in the top left corner, I don't think, I don't know. Sorry. Year four, I met this girl, Sydney. No, not a city in Australia. She trapped me. I was so done with girls after what happened. She was just so different than other girls. She was a little insecure. Actually, pretty a lot. Not knowing at all how beautiful she is. She never actually asked for attention or got a lot of attention from other people. She just had her best friends and that was that was enough. But she really did her best for me. Afterwards, she said, I saw you two years ago in school already. And I was like, you're fine. I didn't know her back then, but when she heard she was going to the same class as I was next year, she thought, now is the time. So she seduced me. And now I have a girlfriend. Yes. You trapped me. Love you. During this time, I did cheat because I found another love. And that was calisthenics. Basically pull ups. Together with Aryan, I just, I made some insane gains. It took some time, but the progress was there and I loved what I was doing. And I passed year four. Why are you so bad, so My parents are awesome. They supported me a lot with YouTube and my creativity, but YouTube wasn't doing the best at this time. I think I hit 23,000 subscribers four times or something and they were saying I had to get a job which I understood I was so stressed I didn't have the time for anything I remember getting papers at a supermarket for a job application and I knew if I would hand these in it would be the end of YouTube for me I never handed these in I gave myself a little bit more time I uploaded some videos that actually got some decent views you know remember those water bottle flips maybe you're here because of that well yeah that and I had the holiday of my life so I really want to thank my parents for that that's also where I recorded one of those videos so hey and then it happened I uploaded a video, my one year body transformation, and it just exploded in my turn. The video gained thousands and thousands of views in the first days, and at a certain point hit 1 million views. Literally a couple of weeks before that, I was celebrating that my channel had hit 1 million views in total. I actually gave vlogging a try. People didn't really like that because, you know, they were here for funny videos and not anything related to sports. <laughs> but from the moment I uploaded that video, people were asking for videos like that, and I loved it. I got an insane amount of support, and I actually still got that, so... I really want to thank you guys for just supporting me so much. It's it's insane. I know it's really a, a basic thing to say, but for me, it's not basic at all. Tens of thousands, sometimes even hundreds of thousands of people who are watching your videos. The basics, subscribing, liking, sharing. I mean, you guys are insane. Thank you so much. Fun fact, I did this. This transformation, like I do most of the things I do. I just spend a shitload of time learning stuff about the subject, educating myself. The internet is awesome these days. I actually still have the papers that could have changed everything. This all happened during year five of secondary school. It was, it was extremely busy though. Just, it's just so extremely busy. 18 year old brownie, you better start changing changing that because it's a little too much and actually because of this because it's so much it's i sometimes forget the most important stuff in life as simple as saying thank you to the people who support me and help me i really want to thank everyone who has supported me throughout these years